So the other day I was doing a live session and we were talking about the tritium spill in Monticello and I got this really good question that I wanted to share with you all. So love this question here. I can see the plant on my drive every day and even though I know it's not toxic, it's just scary. And the fact that it was found in the groundwater is just spooky. A good analogy here is like an airplane, right? You know in your head that flight is very safe. Being in a plane is very safe. It's the safest form of transfer, uh, transportation, right? In your head, you know that. But you hit turbulence, right? Or you're just about to land or you get a hard landing. Even though you know in your head this is safe, some turbulence happens and automatically you are going to have feelings of anxiety. That's what's happening. This is just maybe a little a little bit of turbulence. Um, and everybody's anxiety is getting a little high there because we've seen things. People have seen plane accidents happen, right? Uh, so you have a picture in your head what could happen. People have seen what happened at Fukushima, what happened in Chernobyl. So they know, oh no, like, is this the is this what's happening? Um, so it is completely understandable that you would have that fear and, and anxiety. Um, but it's good to remind yourself, like you're reminding yourself in the plane when, okay, we're safe. I've I've done this before. We've done this before. Um, I know I'm pro I'm gonna be safe. The the, the likelihood of something being uh, going to hurt me is, is, is minuscule. And in this case, it's even, even lower uh, than in flight uh, when it comes to the risk. It's still spooky. It's unseen. It's something we can't smell or hear or taste or touch. Um, so that spooky element is also there. So it's completely understandable that we have that feeling of anxiety.